We begin this week from Central Africa, where the M23 rebels in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo launched a new offensive north of the provincial capital, Goma. Despite efforts to broker peace and other African countries marshalling their troops to help suppress the insurgency, fighting has continued unabated, forcing thousands to be displaced and hundreds being killed in the violence. Here's a report from Bambo. Confused and in fear, these residents in Bambo, north of Goma, are fleeing to save their lives. Mothers clutching their belongings and children. Even the elderly had to scamper as mortar fire and rounds of automatic weapons were heard on the southern outskirts of the town. This village had been calm in recent months, but rebels destroyed the peace. It is reported that M23 rebels launched a new offensive north of the provincial capital Goma as fighting with pro-government armed groups continued further south. Panic-stricken residents sought refuge in government-controlled areas. We were in Bambo when we heard the bombs detonating, so we fled straight away. Now we are on our way down to Kirima, but we don't know where our final destination will be. When we were in Bambo, we heard that the M23 had just taken Kabizo. My aunts and their families took refuge in a house and were set on fire inside. No one got out alive. Everyone perished. Earlier in October, in a rare victory against the Rwanda-backed M23, the loyalist militias regained the strategic town of Kishanga in North Kivu's Masisi province. In the same month, a military court sentenced an MP to death on charges of treason and involvement in the M23 rebel movement. The death penalty is often handed down in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but has not been applied for 20 years and is systematically commuted to life imprisonment. The accused was not present at the sentencing. Applying Article 7 of the Military Penal Code, the single most severe capital punishment, in other words, the death penalty. This is Kenyan President William Ruto and his Angolan counterpart, Jao Lorenko, called on the M23 rebels to join a cantonment or a military garrison or camp away from the public. We believe that it is an achievable aim to uh, engage in consultation, stabilize eastern part of DRC, and allow the people of DRC in general to benefit from their progress, from their development, and from stability and progress in their region. The M23, which has captured swathes of territory in North Kivu province since 2021, is one of several militias holding sway over much of the region, despite the presence of peacekeepers. Democratic Republic of Congo's government has recently intensified security around Goma, North Kivu's capital and home to over a million people. The United Nations Humanitarian Agency says almost 200,000 people have had to flee their homes since the 1st of October in Rushuru and Masisi territory, north of Goma. Independent UN experts, the Kinshasa government and several Western nations, including the United States and France, accuse Rwanda of backing the Tutsi-led M23 which Kigali denies. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.